Hi friends, how are you? How are you doing? I hope that you are doing good and uh, you are taking uh, advantage of this uh, uh, times. I know it is pandemic and uh, chaos everywhere but I also believe that every darkest cloud has a silver lining. So we can make use of uh, this opportunity we can make use of this uh, leisure time that we got to learn many things. So I, I really hope that uh, you're one of them and you're doing good. Today we are trying to uh, discuss about uh, cyberbullying. You might have heard about it, some of you might have heard about it, but uh, we'll try to see uh, what is it all about. Cyberbullying. We might have heard what is bullying. Even in our schools, colleges, in our work area, we observe, we see people try to bully others, try to dominate them, try to make fun of them, scoff them, or some to try to even intimidate people and try to uh, create some uh, some kind of complex in, uh, in the, in the uh, hearts of people. And this is we observe in uh, our regular life we see that in schools and uh, colleges and universities and even in the work life right so we see some people some some people try to bully others uh, try to take advantage of uh, uh, some people who look a little weak both physically and emotionally and uh, the cyber bullying is something uh, happen, bullying others in online. Now we see the whole world is shifting towards this virtual world. It has shifted towards this virtual world. Especially during uh, seasons like this, uh, the pandemic and the, this crisis, the whole world almost shifted to virtual world. We are having uh, uh, classes, colleges online. We are having uh, uh, religious places, having services online. So we will try to focus in this virtual world too. Some people try to bully others. Right? We see them like uh, this is what we call cyberbullying. So let me try to give a definition of it. The cyberbullying is using the digital technologies trying to bully others. It may be through phone, email or social media platforms or gaming platforms or something like that. But trying to bully others we don't call a uh, bully if it is a just one incident or one instance, right? But if it is of a, a repetitive in nature and it is persisting, targeting a particular person and uh, and some someone else is their comments or whatever that they are doing or social media or digital world is hurting someone else feelings, beliefs, then we can call it cyberbullying, right? What can, what usually comes under uh, the cyberbullying? You see, some people try to spread lies about others, uh, some comments that are really uh, hurting someone or intimidating or making them embarrassed or shaming people through this uh, uh, media or through this uh, uh, digital technology. Many times they give names, they call names or the body shaming. For all these things, we can bring them under one category called uh, cyberbullying. And sometimes People send some hurtful messages like really affect someone's 
confidence really touches somebody's heart right so all these things we can categorize them under uh, cyberbullying but as we discussed if some of our friends they joke they do uh, pull our legs they do do the you know kidding even um, our social media platform our friends they joke they do uh, you know uh, tease us pull our legs they say they uh, say some uh, hilarious comments but what should we call uh, cyber bullying should that we be called as a cyber bully as we see if the joke or kidding or anything is uh, everyone is enjoying that but except you and uh, this kind of behavior or incidents repetitively happening by one person then we can say that that person is trying to bully you as we see we all laugh together but if somebody is uh, uh, instead of laughing with you if they are laughing at you and that behavior is happening quite frequently like you feel that somebody is targeting you someone is uh, humiliating you shaming you or social media or digital technology platforms then we can say you've been bullied by some cyber bullies right sometimes these messages these comments attract unwanted attraction from the strangers even for example uh, you have posted a photograph and uh, one of these cyber bullies have made a comment that uh, unwanted attraction from strangers from everyone uh, in the Facebook right we, we often see that somebody might have said that and somebody might have uh, counter uh, answering to that or somebody might have uh, commenting on those lines so unwanted attraction and that can embarrass people that can uh, some people may feel that is uh, uh, humiliation or they've been uh, ashamed uh, so all these things we are just trying to define what cyber bullying is but uh, who are the people usually uh, are targeted the study says that majorly women teenagers and kids are the uh, have been victims of this cyber bullying right we see uh, women or girls they post their photos in the facebook and some people pass a very rude or objectionable comments and somebody will try to f uh, follow those comments and they're trying to uh, harass them right even a fun or something if the other person is not enjoying that uh, joke or fun it can be uh, harassment so it's like uh, harassing people online uh, by using that women being the most uh, sub, uh, you know subjects to this uh, cyber bully and even the teenagers we see teenagers from schools colleges yeah it is okay it is okay to have fun yes the teenagers they do uh, pass funny comments they do uh, spread gossips even yeah there are so many gossips uh, 
uh, in the schools and colleges that uh, we hear, we know, they, they spread, uh, uh, they gossip about uh, one another. But if that is crossing the limits, and if that is crossing the limits, and uh, if anyone is uh, feeling that he is being targeted, or he or she is being targeted, then it is a problem. Kids even, nowadays, even the kids, they have uh, access to the technology. Uh, thanks to the technology and uh, one of the, uh, what I can say, specialties of this, our need, our generations, our, the present world is, uh, even a two years old kid, he knows how to operate the iPad, he knows how to play music, he knows how to play YouTube. Yes, we might see, I was wondering, like one of my friend's son, He's just two years old, but if we give him an iPad, he knows how to uh, play uh, cartoons in YouTube that he likes. He's like, he's very particular about uh, certain cartoons or certain uh, songs that he wants to listen. So he doesn't need uh, uh, anyone's help. He can do it by himself. I'm not just saying uh, kids means like only the two, three years old. I'm just saying that uh, even the kids, like six, seven years, they are very, uh, you know, informative about the present technology. Many kids, they do have uh, accounts in the social media platforms. They share photos in Instagram. They share photos in Facebook. They, sh uh, they, they, they are active in the social media. So sometimes even the kids, they are, um, sub, they become subjects to the cyber bullying. And uh, I'm not saying that men are not uh, facing this, but if you see the statistics and the overall percentage, these are the people who are often uh, being targeted, right? They're being targeted to some cyber bullies, uh, majorly the so-called whoever is bullying over online or uh, this uh, social media and the cyber bullying, most of them uh, would be the known people, right? Somebody from the own, uh, own friends, friends network, or relatives or neighbors or like somebody they know uh, and some portion some percentage of people are strangers like they, they do uh, comment on the photographs or opinions or uh, uh, looks or whatever that they do but uh, majorly we see uh, Bullying happens through our close contacts, close networks. And nowadays, we see and we observe that the cyber bullying has become a societal problem. It is increasing year on year. It is increasing every year. It is increasing. If you see the number of cases that are being registered, uh, in the cyber bullying or in the cyber crime department, they are increasing year on year. That means many, many people are becoming subjects to this uh, a bad custom. The statistic says 95% uh, of teens are connected to the internet nowadays, and 85% of them use social media, uh, any of these social media, Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat, any, any of these social media platforms, they, they are the users of those social media platforms. And 36.5% of people that I can say 
or even 40%, that is like a 4 in 10, they say once or twice in their digital life, they have faced this cyberbullying. So that means it's very, uh, it's very serious thing. It's, it's, it's not something that can be ignored. It's a serious thing. Just uh, uh, a statistic says from 2007, if you see the number of cases or the number of instances that people uh, are facing this cyberbullying is almost doubled in 10 years. In 2018, 2019, it has a double. There is an exponential growth. So the, saying that, that's also say that this problem has become very, very uh, serious now. It has become a very serious problem. We will discuss why it is becoming a very serious problem now. For instance, if you look how people are being bullied online or in the uh, social media or in the digital technologies, we see the highest number of people are being bullied in Instagram and then Facebook and then Snapchat, even YouTube, online gaming platforms. One statistic says 42% of people, they have bullied in Instagram. They have, they, 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 they have received uh, unwanted, objectionable comments or unwanted attention or spreading lies about them or spreading rumors about them or body shaming or the character assassination. All these things, you see, people are facing that and surprisingly, 42% of People who ever uh, ever been bullied, they are bullied in, uh, through Instagram. I'm not against to any of the social media platforms, but I'm just sharing the statistics that these many people. Uh, this is the percentage uh, people have uh, have been targets, but. Uh, we, we have discussed that it is becoming a serious problem. How does it affect people? If you see, people are affected mentally, emotionally, even physically. I post a photograph in Facebook. We expect likes, we expect comments, we expect a response from our friends and say that, hey, that's a nice picture. Or that's nice, that's uh, something innovation or something creative or some video or some comments. We, we are, uh, we are human as a social animal. So we, we would like to communicate with others. We would like to have that uh, reciprocation from others. But this adverse communicate, uh, comments or this adverse uh, communication is disturbing people mentally, emotionally, and even physically. You see, in men, uh, mentally, many many people are upset about their hurt in the hearts. They're upset about the cyberbullying. Sometimes they're embarrassed through this uh, body shaming or some comments. They're embarrassed. Or sometimes they they are they become really angry uh, about these comments, and we see emotionally also it is disturbing people. As we see, the many people they feel ashamed or are enraged, or they become aggressive, or sometimes they become very depressing. They, they some people get into depression. Yeah. They become very, they feel it's a personal attack on them. So they become very depressive. And even physically, 
many times it is reported that people are losing their sleep and uh, they are experiencing some symptoms like uh, stomach ache or headache or many times uh, they are losing interest of appetite and few occasions even uh, it is taking to a very dramatic effects people are getting suicidal thoughts and nowadays the trend of people committing suicide because of uh, this uh, uh, cyber uh, bullying or cyber humiliation is increasing people are thinking to end their lives even. So that says that it is very dangerous societal problem. So we see the effects of cyberbullying is just not the uh, emotional uh, trauma or depression. It is affecting even physical. Very sad thing to know is some people are going to an extent even to take their lives is very very serious thing and nobody has the right to influence somebody to take uh, life everyone has right to live on this world so that's a very serious problem and we see just uh, I am just going through some of the statistics and we see people are getting into abusing alcohol and drugs that's also an effect of this cyberbullying and uh, some people are developing uh, eating disorder, eating heavily and some people like they are skipping the places where they are going or sometimes the bully is from the same class or something they are escaping to attend classes yeah and uh, some people are getting into engaging some uh, harmful means to their own body self-hurting they're harming themselves and uh, many people around 26 percent of people uh, one statistic says around 26 percent of people are having suicidal thoughts right and 41 percent of people are having this uh, anxiety their anxiety, societal anxiety. They fear to mingle with people. They fear to, uh, you know, be a, uh, have a communication or uh, relationship with others. That's very serious thing. But now, how to deal with it? Yeah, we have discussed about uh, what is cyberbullying and who are the more majorly the victims of it and uh, what are the effects of cyberbullying now have to deal with it for everything we have a proactive and reactive proactive what we do what we can how we can avoid it what we should do to avoid that cyberbullying or uh, such instances it is good that we keep a check on uh, accepting uh, friend requests from strangers, sharing our personal details, our personal photos, our personal related uh, photos or uh, videos or media, social media platforms or sharing with others nowadays this has become a uh, biggest problem uh, in the world people are becoming friends through online uh, uh, social media platforms and they are sharing their information and they are sharing their private uh, information and the photographs and the person whoever has received started blackmailing them 
or exploiting the, that information, uh, exploiting that person, this has become, uh, this is actually increasing now. This has become a new trend. As we see the number of crimes happening nowadays, uh, we can see a trend. Crimes connected to social media are also increasing nowadays, which is very alarming, very alarming. So how as a proactive measures, we need to have a check uh, before we accept friend requests, or before we share our photos or before we share our personal details or anything it's a proactive mission if you know somebody for sure and uh, if somebody has sent a friend request go to their profile and see what kind of friends that he or she has and how they are engaging in the conversations with others are they uh, maintaining that uh, uh, ethic are they maintaining that uh, good conduct so we can keep a check on it if we have received uh, some prayer friend request from strangers that we don't know but uh, it is always good to be proactive about it and uh, do not always uh, be eager to share our personal or private photos or uh, in private personal information in the social media and then uh, reacting yes we've been proactive we are taking good measures but that doesn't completely insulate us from uh, cyber bullying if somebody is uh, trying to bully others, it's not 100% uh, foolproof. It's, it would not 100% insulate you from uh, such comments. So, but how to deal with that once you face cyber bullying or once you face such uh, behavior or internet, I would advise if it is happening once or twice, just one or two instances, you can ignore that person. You can ignore such comments. But if it is repetitive, like a person is constantly, as we have discussed, constantly uh, behaving like that, constantly targeting you uh, like that, then we, we have to definitely take measures that ensures such behavior is not acceptable and cannot be encouraged and we can also re restrict such behavior. My dear friends, if you see every social media platform, they have a mechanism of ensuring your privacy. If somebody is passing uh, objectionable comments or somebody is posting objectionable uh, things on your wall, then there is always a mechanism to report. Every social media platform, Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, or Snapchat, every social media platform has a reporting mechanism because they all the companies, they also want to uh, keep their users safe and their data secure. So they want to ensure your privacy. So make sure that you raise an alarm or you report to the concerned uh, social media platform or uh, if it is an online gaming yes they do have a mechanism so it is good to report to the concerned uh, platform about uh, such instance remember 
one thing. When if this is happening persistently, make a track of it. Save those pictures or save those comments which can be used as a proof for your uh, claim or proof your complaint. Because in the digital world, whatever that you say would leave a digital footprint. So if, if you see an uh, uh, objectionable comment or uh, behavior from a, such a person consistently, make a track of it. Save those records. Save those, uh, what do you call it, screenshots of that uh, uh, comments or the photos or the chats or anything but uh, make a track of it, make a record of it so that it would help you to take appropriate action. If you are complaining to the Facebook or if you are complaining to uh, Instagram or Snapchat or the real respective uh, social media platforms, it would serve you as a proof. So remember to record such instance. Like take, just take a, a screenshot of that and keep that in your, uh, in your mobile or in your laptop, in your desktop, but make it available to provide when it's asked. And if this really disturbing, if that uh, uh, other person's behavior is really disturbing you, pulling you down, it is always good to speak to your beloved. Yeah, we have true good friends, parents, family members, teachers, our coaches, whomever that truly wish your welfare or whom you can trust. Speak to them, discuss with them. This is the problem that we are facing. Someone whom you can trust, with someone whom you can share this information. Hey, uh, I have this problem. I'm facing this. So how to deal with it? Do not be uh, embarrassed to speak to your beloved. Don't feel ashamed to speak to your beloved. Though uh, those people whom you can trust, you can share this information and discuss with them how to deal with it. Sometimes you can speak to the person who is uh, troubling you and uh, you can resolve it there. Or sometimes you can ignore the person and you can be out of this problem. Or sometimes you really need help to cope up uh, with the problem then you would seek help always don't hesitate to take help from the trusted ones if the problem is persisting even if your uh, trusted ones are your beloved uh, ventured in and you try to solve this problem or it is still persisting and you see there is a danger or potential danger always go by the law go by the law of the land report to the authorities report to the concerned authorities if it is police police or before that you if it is somebody is bullying you uh, who happened to be your colleague or your classmate from the same school, report to the respective authorities. Report to the school management or the college management or the office management. Or if it is still persisting, and go and report to the police. Go, go by the law of the land. Don't take law in your hands. Please. Don't take law in your hands, but just go follow the rules. Let's try to see how we're going to deal with it. If you're bullied, 
have to deal with them. We just saw a few steps being reactive, uh, react to uh, action plan. Now, if you are the person who have been bullied, few steps we can follow or few steps uh, we can uh, practice so that it is good for you. First, first of all, don't be panic. Keep yourself calm. Be calm. Stay calm. Don't be panic. Don't rush to do something. But sit and think about it. How to deal with it. Have a plan how to deal with it. As we see, discuss, consult with your elders or your friends. Elders basically, adults so who can give you a good uh, suggestion, good advice. But don't be panicked, don't get into any hasty uh, steps. And second, don't retaliate. See, he said something, or he or she said something, so let me show them that what it is, uh, what, does, what it means to be hurt. Don't retaliate in the same frequency because you have a, your own individuality. You have your own personality. So don't let your personality or your individuality be tampered by someone else's uh, influence. Yeah? Don't just retaliate. Don't just get into all that retaliation. Uh, but just think how to deal with. And as we see, discuss, tell, speak about the problem with people whom you can trust. And try to be safe. See, some, some of these, some bullying or uh, online challenges are pushing people to extreme ends. We have seen this blue whale game, such a dangerous game. It, it, it has costed many children's lives, teenagers' lives, because it's a challenge that can you do this? Can you do this? And if the uh, bully or if somebody is threatening you of uh, dire consequences, keep yourself safe. Try to be safe. Do, do not, uh, uh, do not uh, associate with people with whom you, are not, you feel you are not safe. So always keep yourself safe. And don't let this uh, loneliness or I am alone thought uh, enter in you or influence you. All right? Many times the suicidal thoughts that people will have, uh, people are uh, getting these suicidal thoughts. If you ask them, they would say, oh, I am alone. I am trying to deal with this alone or the loneliness in the head is very dangerous so uh, do not let that happen to you be safe and uh, keep yourself away from any person or any such in, uh, incidents that can really harm you and importantly okay you're not bullied okay but you see your friend is bullied. Your friend is facing this problem. Then how to deal with it? You, you really uh, have a good concern of your friend. But how to deal with it? First, uh, assure your friend that he or she is not alone. Go with them. You're, you're thinking of them. You're concerned of them. So assure them. And uh, you try to help them in your purview. Sometimes people try to help and they take law in their hands. Or they try to do things which are legal, illegal, which, are, which can put them into problems later. Don't do that. You know, we all have.
have a, a scope, that a boundary where we can function or where we can operate. So let your health also be in that scope. Okay, you get to know that your friend is in problem and somebody is bullying him or her. So don't just go and get into uh, action and try to uh, uh, do something illegal or something that can put you in a problem. So don't do that. But you can assure your friend that you are with them, you are with him or with her and uh, you can work with them to come out, come come up with a uh, good solution, right? So you can work out a solution with them. You can discuss with them. Uh, if your friend is okay, if your friend is agreeing to reveal this to others, you can discuss with your trusted uh, people, elders and trying to work out an amicable solution, right? Something, uh, something that you can do and try to, if your friend is very depressed about this behavior and your friend wants to be lonely, don't leave them like, uh, you know, to their fate. Spend time with them, you know, take, take your efforts to bring them out of that depression, speak to them, take them out, you know, uh, make some comfortable environment for them so that they can easily get over from such uh, deep depression. Because my dear friends, remember, most of the cases or most of the suicidal cases, people have committed suicide. If we ask them, they are in depression. They think that they are all alone in the world. They think that there is no one, nobody uh, there for their support. There is nobody thinking about them. They think that nobody is loving them. They think that nobody wants them. Or all these thoughts, serious thoughts. So, we, we will not leave our friends to their fate, but we spend time and trying to make them uh, strong that they can deal this by themselves and majorly come out of it. And very importantly, if you are the bully, my dear friend, you need to know a few things. If you have this habit of putting people down, then you must know that everyone deserves respect. Everybody deserves honor. Everyone have the same rights as you have. Know that everyone has a right to be respected. Everyone has rights, the same rights as you have. Everyone deserves respect. They deserve the honor. My dear friend, we need to understand that everybody is unique. Everybody is unique and precious. They are original. You are not a photocopy of another, but you are original. You are magnificently, wonderfully made by God. You are unique. You are precious. We must learn to appreciate the preciousness or uniqueness of others. And we must know, we must understand that even how mean the other person looks to you, but they deserve respect. They deserve honor. So, thinking that I am great, other person is less, is not a good mindset. In whatever the way, the, the racial feelings or uh, language or 
gender bias or anything, we must understand that we are all humans. We are all equal. No one is great. No one is small. We might have some materials. Somebody might have money. Somebody might have house. Somebody might have something. But end of the day, every human is same. Need the things, the materialistic things that we carry. So we must understand everybody deserves respect. Everybody deserves honor, whether it is a, a digital world or in the real world. They deserve, they, they have a right, as same rights as you and I have. And if you are a bully and if your comments or if your uh, behavior hurts somebody, my dear friend, make an effort to apologize to others. Apologize to the person who was hurt. You know, we need real strength to apologize to others. There's a saying, strong people apologize. You will not be Look down if you apologize, but uh, you will be, you will prove yourself that you are a strong person. Anyone who is bullying others and hurting others should apologize. You want to make things normal, you want to bring the relationship or bring things to normal, it should start first with apology. Apology, apology uh, say sorry to the person and uh, if you really don't mean such comments make them understand that you do not mean it or make them realize your true intentions behind it but if you are trying really trying to patch up or construct that relationship do it diligently do it honestly, do it softly because someone else is being hurt. So in order to deal with them, we need to really be patient to build that same relation. But if you are a stranger and uh, you don't, you have uh, you don't really think to uh, restore or repair this relationship and uh, you became a, a habitual bully, please do know that it can spoil your life too. You know, the law of land and the cyber laws are becoming very strict in every nation now. And uh, you can really have tough time in every country. The cyber laws are uh, becoming stricter. They're becoming stringent with the cyber laws because everyone's privacy is important. You know, almost the world is moved into the digital world, the virtual world. So like how in the real world people have uh, their rights even in the digital world, people have their own rights. And definitely the governments and the social media are the uh, respective uh, uh, technological companies do work to protect the rights of the, their users. And you may get into a real problem. So please do not do that. And let's, let's uh, make things uh, memorable or beautiful to others. Let's not get into something really problematic for you. Nowadays I see some people's their lives have seriously got into problem because of few comments or few things that they have done for uh, internet in the social media. They lost jobs, they were behind bars. 
we are having real tough time because nobody is nowadays the governments are not going to just ignore people who are doing whatever they want in the so in the cyber world so let's be aware of that and make uh, things uh, comfortable to others rather problematic and uh, you want to change these things right many times we speak to others like let's it should not happen like this we should change i would say if you really want to change things be a change the change should start from you you should be the change and it should start from you i hope you understood that thank you